Okay, let's just jump into this. You guys know me, you know that I'm always looking for a way to speed up my workflow. Anything that I can do to save time editing is 100% worth it, and there just so happens to be a tool in DaVinci Resolve that will save you a ton of time when doing sound design on your videos. That tool is the Fairlight Sound Library. Now, you guys probably know about the Fairlight Sound Library already. It's been around since DaVinci Resolve 16.2, I believe, and when you download and install it, you get a whole bunch of free Foley from Blackmagic Design that you can use in all of your projects. It's great because those files are always there and you can access them from DaVinci Resolve without having to re-import them every time you start a new project. It's also great because you can add other sound Sound effects and Foley that you get from other sources, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Here's the deal, I've got a little sequence that I'm putting together and I need some Foley, I need some sound effects, and so we're going to download a whole bunch of stuff and then I'm going to show you how to add it into the Fairlight Sound Library so we can use them not only in this project, but in every project we ever work on. Now today we're going to be getting our sound effects and Foley from Artlist. I've been using Artlist for a while to get my music and sound effects for my videos. They're a super cool company and they just so happen to be the sponsor of this video. You guys might remember when I did a review of Artlist back in February. I'll link that below. Back then, Artlist only had music, but they've since added an impressive selection of sound effects and Foley to their website, making them a complete package for all things audio. Plus, they have that unlimited license that lets you download and use their music and sound effects as much as you want, wherever you want. Right now, if you sign up for a year of Artlist, you'll also get access to a free cinematic creator's pack that's full of both sound and visual effects, and if you use the link in the description, you'll also get two months free on top of the year that you pay for. Honestly, it's an incredible deal, but if you're still not convinced, we'll be diving into Artlist's website and taking a look at what they have to offer. Thanks Artlist for being an awesome company, thanks for sponsoring this video, and now without further ado, let's look for some sound effects. Like I said, I've got this sequence that I need to do some sound design for, and no, I didn't shoot this footage. These clips actually came from ArtGrid, which is Artlist's stock footage site. They're linked below as well, and if you sign up to them, you'll also get that cinematic creators pack as well as the same two free months. Now, I've already done a video on my whole thought process when it comes to sound design, so I won't go over that now, but I will link it down below if you wanna check it out. In the meantime, I've already made a list of what I need. It's a pretty basic list. We're gonna be looking for some footsteps in the snow, some wind, some rustling trees, basically just a whole bunch of wintry nature sounds, as well as some birds, because there are a couple of clips where there are some birds on a bird feeder, and maybe some playground swing squeaks. Honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to find that, but Artlist is adding new music and sound effects to their site every day, so who knows? Let's just head over there and find out. So this is the Artlist homepage, and we're not really going to spend any time here because this is all music. If you wanna know more about the music on Artlist, make sure you go back and watch my official review. Instead, let's just go ahead and go down to the left and click on SFX. And that will bring us to the sound effects portion of the website. And right away, you can see that there are a whole bunch of categories here, like footsteps, weather, whooshes, and war explosions. So you could easily just click on one of those and get taken to a whole list of sound effects that fit into that category. Or you can come over here to the left and narrow down your search. You see, we've got some top level categories here, like essentials, ambience, human, special, and musical. But then if we click on each one of those categories, categories, we'll see that we have a bunch of narrower categories, so that could be a really good way to narrow down your search. And then the last way you can search for sound effects and Foley is just to type what you're looking for in the search box. Now, I've already gone ahead and added most of the effects to a collection so I can download them, but I haven't looked for that squeaky swing sound, so let's go ahead and search for that. Let's go ahead and type swing set into the search box. And we've got a few suggestions here, but none of the descriptions seem to fit what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and listen to a couple just to be sure. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything here, but right at the top of the list, there are some suggestions on how we can narrow down our search. So let's click on swings.
And again, there's nothing really here, so we're gonna need to get creative. Maybe if I search squeak? Okay, we've got a lot here. Let's see if we can find something. Okay, this one here, squeaks and creaks, lock, unlock, squeak, doorknob turn, metal mechanism. Let's take a listen. I can definitely use that. Let's go ahead and add this to my snow scene collection. And now I think we're ready to download these effects. So let's come into my library and go to my collections and open up snow scene. And here we've got all of the sound effects that I found. Let's go ahead and add all of these to the cart and then come up to the shopping cart and click checkout. Now, when you check out, two things will happen. First, the list of download links will be sent to your email, but you can also go into your library, go into download history, and then just download them straight from there. One last thing before we jump out of Artlist and into DaVinci Resolve. Let's say that after browsing through Artlist, you wanted to go download some stock footage. Instead of typing in the web address, all you have to do is come over to the main menu in the top left, click on footage, and that will bring you to Artgrid. Cool, let's move on. So I've got all of my sound effects and Foley, so now it's time to get those files into the Fairlight Sound Library. Now you can get to the sound library from two locations in DaVinci Resolve. One place is the Fairlight page, obviously, and the other is through the edit page. But in both pages, the process is the same. Just head over to the top menu and on the left side, click on Sound Library. Once you have that open, you need to first choose the database where you want to save your files. See, when you download the Fairlight Sound Library, it actually creates a separate database for your audio files. For example, if I come over to this drop-down box and then go into this drop-down box here, you can see that I have the choice of either searching the sound library database or my main database for my sound effects. Now, you can't actually add sound effects to the Fairlight sound library database, so in this case, we're going to choose to add these sound effects to my main database. Now, let's go ahead and click the three dots in the top right corner of the sound library. Click on Add Library and then just navigate to the folder where all of your sound effects are and click select folder. And once everything is imported, DaVinci Resolve will give you a confirmation and you're done. Now all you have to do is find the effect you're looking for. Now this can be a little confusing because for whatever reason, DaVinci Resolve doesn't allow you to see any of your sound files until you've actually searched for something. But this is another reason why I love Artlist. All of their file names are structured the same. First comes the title of the clip, then the artist's name, then Artlist, then the container. For example, if I had a clip named Footsteps in the Snow and the person who created that file was John Smith, the file would read Footsteps in the Snow, John Smith, Artlist.Wave. And the reason why this is so important is because since I know all of my clips came from Artlist, I can just search Artlist and all of my clips from Artlist will pop up. From there, I can select a file, preview it, set in and out points, and drag it into the timeline. And the best part is I'll never have to import those audio files ever again. They're just there, which really helps me speed up my editing workflow. To learn about some more tips that'll help you edit faster in DaVinci Resolve, click here here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.